Hi, welcome to your channel Versatile for you. My name is Asan Ali. I hope you all are doing well. As you know, I have started Python tutorial for beginners, so it's our third lecture. In previous lectures, we had took overview of Python and introduction. In second lecture, we know how to install Anaconda and launch Spider. So if you would have not installed Anaconda and yet now not able to practice Python, so first watch second lecture. So our Python learning is going to be start from this lecture. So watch it with full concentration and don't skip any part of the video so that you can understand easily and clear the concept in your mind. So let's get started. Python. Here is third lecture in which we will study Python variables and basic data types. So here you saw an introduction to Python, variables, naming rule, assigning and reassigning variables, multiple assignments, swapping variables, deleting variables, and we will study data types and we will study numbers and strings, two data types in this lecture. Then remaining we will study in the next lecture. So get started. What is Python? variable what is Python variable a variable is a container for the value means uh, you can assign something to variable variable is a container for value it can be assigned a name you can use it to refer to it later in the program based on value assigned the interpreter decides its data type you can always store a different type in a variable so in Python, we don't need to declare our data types of variable as in C++ and other languages. So there are some rules of Python variables. So here we saw example, if you store 7 in variable, later you can store SN. For example, I can show you. Here I zoom it. If you write, if you take a variable, you can take any type of variables. For example, I take x is equal to 7. N then x line, I will print it. Print under the round bracket, you write x like this. Now run it. And here you saw the result 7. This is. So if we take x is equal to Sn, but if we take any alphabets, if we want to assign any alphabet in the variable, then we use strings, uh, use like this strings, like this single or double string, according to our choice. So now print it, print x. So now it show seven and S N. The interpreter goes to this and here it print the value of X, then here we change the X to S N, then it uh, tell us uh, S N. If we comment it, comments mean if we comment anything like this if we comment anything then the interpreter don't read it and skip it and goes to next value so here we write to x is equal to sn and print sn so it will tell us sn you can see so there are some specific rules to assign a name of variable so we can study Python variables naming rule so first Python variables can only begin with letter or an underscore so for example if we first I should delete it if we choose any variable like 9 is equal to Sn now 
I want to print 9 but it give us error because Python variable name cannot be start from any numeric character so print it it give us error you can see it but we can use under scope in first then it print under scope no we saw it print as in here so go to lecture and the number second rule the rest of identifier may contain letters under scope and numbers but not any special character so for example we do an example here we write variable name so this is write variable name and if you we use 9 or any numeric character here then it is good but if we use any character in the first in any numeric characters in the first then it's wrong we can use underscore in the first or alphabets in the first not so is equal to python and now print it print underscore underscore name 8 so it will print as python uh, here is some problem yeah we can assign a value but if we want to assign any characters then we use double or sing uh, single or double strings like this here we write here I write double and here I write single so we can yeah, use same type of strings double then on both side double single then on both side single so print it now it show python for example we write here any special character like dollar sign uh, dollar sign then it would give error because special character would not be in the name of variable so now goes to next python is case sensitive and so are python identifiers name with capital N and name with small n are two different identifiers for example I should comment it you comment anything then interpreter don't read it so if we write age is equal to 21 now I print age but here I write capital A of age then it will give error yes it give error name age is not defined because it's case sensitive language so here I should write a with small n same to same so then we print it it show us 21 here it show 21 so reserve words cannot be used as identifier so what are reserve words so there are reserve words and def false import there are some specific words which cannot be used as variable name because there is built in in the python so we cannot use any reserve word from these for example if we take anything from it we take uh, false or we take and okay we take and as the variable name and is equal to 5 now print and then it will syntax error but if here we write a with capital and and with capital a then 
it's work it's give us give us five you can see so because uh, python is case sensitive and with small a and end with large a is not same so now assigning and resigning python variables for example to assign a value to python variable you don't need to declare it type as we earlier say so you name you name it according to the rules and type the value after the equal sign so for example as we see we as we see earlier i assign a value s and to variable then earlier i assign 7 to variable so this is that so multiple assignments so what's its mean multiple assignments you can assign value to multiple vari variables in one statement for example here you write age is equal to age r with comma city here i write age comma city is equal to 21 comma lahore so this age is a variable this city is a variable the value 21 is assigned to this age because age is in first and city is in second so 21 is in first and lahore is in second so lahore is assigned to city and age is assigned to uh, 21 is assigned to age so print it if we want to print anything if we any one of the variable then we can also do it so here I write age comma city it will print 21 and Lahore here we saw 21 and Lahore so if we want any single variable just age then we print it it will just show 21 so this is all about multiple assignments we can also do by this like it's another method here age is equal to city or anything age is equal to favorite or is equal to seven so if we write so here age and favorite these two both are variables and seven as we know the variable name is not start from seven then it's not a variable so here we print if print age then it will show us seven or we print favorite it will also show us result seven so this was all about multiple assignments and goes to the lecture so as we know you can assign value to multiple variables in one statement you can assign the same value to multiple python variables and we can study so swapping variables what are swapping variables swapping mean interchanging to swap python variables you don't need to do too much for example where is the mouse yeah so if we write a as a variable comma b it's two variable and then is equal to red comma green so 
here if we print a and b a comma b then it will show red as a a green which is assigned to b red and green i can show you red and green it's our output so but we can interchange it we can interchange it by a comma b is equal to b comma a here first red is assigned to a and green is assigned to b but now we interchange it it's mean green is assigned to a and red is assigned to b now we print it print a comma b now it will show green and red first it show sorry first it show red and green then now it show green and red so it's interchanging of the python variable so deleting variable we can delete variable for example here we write uh, just by del icon del keyword del a comma b and now we print a and b print here we remove it print a comma b now it has been deleted so it's error it's give us error so this all about python variables as you see you can also delete python variables using keyword del so what is python data types although we don't have to declare data type of python our value does have a type this information is while tell to the interpreter so these are data types number string list tuple dictionaries and some more types but in this lecture we will study only numbers and strings so let's get started python numbers so there are four numeric python data types int float long and complex so what is int int stand for integer this python data type holds signed integers we can use the type function to print which class is belong to so what is float this is python time that hold for floating point what is this oh, okay uh, floating point real values as int can only store the number 3 but float can store 3.25 if you want so here it can say that uh, int is integers int belong to integers and float belongs to integer but in point values in the decimal points value so what is long this python data type holds a long interpreter of unlimited length but this construct does not exist in python 3.x so it's not exist in python 3.x so what is complex this data type holds a complex number of complex numbers a complex number look like a plus b a yota we can use iota instead of we can use j instead of iota a plus b j here a and b are re real parts and numbers and j is imaginary so let's uh, we can also find a type of any variable any data type for example here we write a is equal to a is a variable and we assign value 7 now we write type a then it will tell us the type of a type belongs to means a variable belongs to which data type so here it will tell us here we write we can write class sorry not type Uh, 
so it's run background but we don't write print so that is show don't show this here we write print type a so like this now we run it then it show us class is this class int means this a is belong to class int if we write here minus 7 then it's also from integers so it's class int but if we write here any floating means point value point 5 7.5 then it tell us it's belong to type float here we can see type float class float so if we write 3 plus 5 j so then we check it it's tell us it's from type complex so these are some data types so first we we can also uh, add a number here we can perform specific different tasks according to us for example here we take a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 7 4 uh, a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 7 now we print a plus b a plus b then it will show the sum of these two numbers 11 like this 11 so we can also take variable like this a comma b is equal to 4 comma 54 so print it it's give us 58 here we can also perform many calculations from this we can use multiplication sign here like this so 4 multiply by here we write 20 or 30 so print it it shows us 20 120 30 multiply by 4 120 so we can use it to perform many calculations you can practice at your own so now python strings what are python strings as i already told you about strings we if if we want to a string is sequence of characters python does not have a character data type like C++ or Java you can delimit a string using single or double quotes I already told you that if we want to assign any any character to the variable then we delimit it using string single quotes or double quote so here we perform it for example we write here variable city and then we write in strings Lahore then we print it print city then it will show us Lahore here so there are some also specific rules in the strings spanning a string across line it's mean you can span a string across multiple line you can use a triple quote for example comment it so here I take variable any type of where is equal to triple quote if then we 
go to next line by enter just click enter from keyboard it goes to next line and here I write only if only no close the quotes now I write print where variable so run it it will show in next line like this but if we don't use triple code then it will give us error so here is an other method for example if we write name as a variable and we write uh, here if no slash n it's for next line and we slash tab it's for break same slash and now we write anything only so it's perform same print name print it so it's if and only if uh, and only there is you can see there is space this is because of t slash t because it's space if we don't write it then see the result it's only in the single line next line so slash n is also for to write record in next line we can use it so if we just write here slash t then it will show a space between f if and only like this so like this here n is the escape sequence for new line t for tab so displaying a part of string for example if we uh, I comment it so here if I write lesson as a variable now we assign value to it disappoint this up pointed disappointed so if we want to print first three letters of disappointed then we write uh, in the lesson then bracket square bracket and we write 2 2 is the index number as we know the index number start from 0 so here in disappointed D 0 index number and uh, I is assigned to 1 index number S is 2 so for 2 0 to 2 if we write here 2 then it will print 0 1 2 D I S so check it no no how oh. yes yes it's assign only the variable s here we saw s s belongs to d belong to 0 i belong to 1 and s belong to 2 here we write 2 but uh, here if we write 5 then here 0 1 2 3 4 5 it will show us P and if we write 6 it will show us O so check it O here's O so if we write if we want to take any part of so we use string 6 here we colon use 
colon and six to nine six to nine so it will print us values from six to nine not nine six to eight because it starts from zero so let's check it o i n here zero one two three four five six o i seven n eight if you want to print anything so you can write such a code if we write here 10 then it goes to index 9 because it starts from 0 so it's approximately 10 so this is you can perform practice you can display a character from a string using its index in the string remember index start from with zero as I can say I was said you so you can also display a burst of character in a string using the slice string operator as I tell you for example 5 to 10 this print the character from 5 to 9 not 5 to 10 because index 0 from uh, index starts from 0 so there is one less number now move forward string formatters so what are string formatters string formatters string formatter allow us to print character and values at once you can use the operators there are you can use the percentage operator but the best option is to use f string for example i will show you this by example here we assign take variable a is equal to sn now we take b is equal to 21 it's my age or uh, we can change variable name is equal to sn in the string and age is equal to 21 so now we print it using formatters like we use f and now we use strings i here i write my name is s n and age no no my name is here i write in the curly bracket name this name belongs to this variable and age is in the curly braces age and got libraces clause and string clause like this like this so python and stop working why so here we saw we write name is equal to sn age is equal to 21 so here we use f formatter f is used to bring these variables under this name belongs to name so it will print my name is sn because uh, name is a variable and we assign sn to name and age is age so in this age it will write 21 for example we print it it will show my name is sn and age is 21 so we can change the uh, here variables and name and we can use different specific task like this here we take an ex another example here we write a is equal to Python here B is equal to 
programmer so now print f formatter now string i am python programmer here i write a and here i write b in the curly braces so it can convert it i am now close the strings now print it it will show i am python programmer like this so move forward like this you can use f formatter so string concatenation so what is it you can join strings for example here you write A is equal to 10 in the string now no see we write A is equal to 10 but we write 10 in the string so it means it's not an integers it's a it not a belongs to integer data type it's belong to string because uh, here in we use string instead of characters in python in java and c we use character uh, but here we use string so it's belong to characters it's belong to string not from integers because we use strings so now print it print a it will write 10 so here we write a plus a here then we'll it not sh show us 20 because it's a string here it show 10 10 means it joined 10 and 10 it's joined uh, this 10 so if we remove this and now it's a integers now we print it then it shows us 20 so we cannot join these so this is about string concatenation like this so however you cannot concentrate different type of value for example you cannot con join different type of value for example here I write a here I write in string 10 so it give error 10 plus 10 here here oh, sorry I write A and B so it give error because I can show you the error this is error int and string means one is belong to integers and one is belong to string so you cannot add this so you should practice it to get good command on it so now we have learned variable naming rules assigning and reassigning variables multiple assignments swapping variables deleting variables how to delete variable and uh, in data types we have learned about numbers and string these two data types so in for in future lecture in fourth lecture we will study list tuple dictionary and more data types and we are also study type conversion so i hope you like my explanation if you would have any problem or facing any issue then let me know so meet you in next lecture. Bye for now. Take care.